capturing Yellow Dancer as a diversion, the resourceful Robotech defenders managed to come away with a sizable amount of the valuable fuel. The Invid discovered the plot and were unable to overpower the determined fighting spirit of Scott and his valiant squad of rebels. Utilizing Hello out there. Today we are taking a look at the uh, Saber Cyclone. This is from uh, Mospeda, or uh, as it says on the box here, Robotech. This is done by uh, V25. And inside you have a clamshell that has all kinds of fun bits and pieces. You can see our, our uh, figure and motorcycle here. Interchangeable hands, a couple weapons, the Sabres saddlebags um, and then there's some different connectors and things here and you can see these empty spaces that is for the included figure stand uh, not the most elegant stand but it does work and it does have all these different spots where you can keep accessories and and whatnot and of course an instruction manual um, and a couple extra pieces they Apparently had two right or two left, whichever one. So instead of sending two of the other side, they sent one of each. So now there's three of one side and one of the other. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. But uh, and you can see the other varieties here. There's sort of the, you know, the classic uh, Battler, Scott Bernard Cyclone. Um, anyway, very cool. Let's uh, Let's take a look at it. Oops, and before we go too far, I wanted to give a close look at, this figure has two heads that are interchangeable. This one is the unhelmeted, um, you know, Lancer head, or Lance as it says on here. I don't know, isn't it Lancer? Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, and then there's two chest pieces. This one has some slots, and then it has these uh, pieces. This is for the actual uh, combined battle armor. Um, but either way, you just swap the heads around as you wish. So here we are out of the packaging. And uh, first we'll take a look at the uh, figure itself. Very, uh, very nice little figure. Actually, these can rotate like that if you want to have a little cleaner look. Um, you know, the peg will still stick out the back, but you can't really see it from the front. So uh, that is appreciated. Um, there's a couple different guns. There's one that has the stock and one that doesn't. I, I just wanted to show you that with the stock, it's kind of awkward. There's not really any way to hold it that uh, looks cool. So I prefer the um, the one without the stock. But he can hold this. Uh, you know, he kind of tuck it away. But anyway, um, all the articulation is there that you could want. This is a ball jointed head. You have a uh, hinged uh, shoulders, uh, swivel at the bicep, pretty good range of motion on that um, elbow, the hands rotate, of course there are, you know, a couple different hand varieties as we saw in the tray, got a nice ab crunch, pretty cool for such a small figure, uh, waist joint, um, you can see the ball joint there in the hip, and a thigh swivel, though it is tight, but it is present, you have a pretty good range of motion on the knee there. And then the feet are on a ball joint, so they can wiggle back and forth. And then you have a little bit of little bit of play. Um, in terms of size, a lot bigger than your standard uh, B25 or Beaver, or whatever you want to call it, uh, figure. So while you can shove him into this cockpit, I would not recommend it because it involves some very scary uh, positioning. You're basically balling him up and even then he only barely fits. So backwards compatibility, not really gonna work. Um, of course, this guy can ride the motorcycle and in some ways is probably better scaled, but anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, other size comparison here is our uh, Handy dandy mask figure to show the 124 scale comparison. Pretty good overall. Um, the the other head sculpt uh, is you know very cool. I definitely prefer this one just overall, and I love that you can just barely see the face in there. 
um, you know, it's, uh, there actually is a face. In fact, let me take this uh, visor off so we can take a closer look. It's a little fiddly. So you know what, I'm gonna do it off camera, I'll be right back. And here's a look at the face sculpt that's under the visor. You can see just the, you know, the eyes are pretty well painted, just a hint of green there in the middle. And the visor is relatively easy to put on, certainly much easier than when taking it off. And next we will take a look at the cycle itself. Um, it is nicely, nicely done. It's, it's very small and I have to say that this is probably, I don't know, I think this is the weakest of the modes that it has. I mean, if you look here, it's got a big hollow right there. Not that, not that you're going to see that very much, um, but it is there. Um, but yeah, so there, there's the motorcycle. Um, I think it looks pretty cool with the saddlebags, like so. I like those a lot. Um, you can pull them apart, but there's not really anything in there. You can't really store anything. So um, it is basically limited to looking good. Um, it does make it hard to uh, mount the rider, which I'm about to do. So I will remove these and be back in a second. So here we go. He's on on the bike. Um, looks good from some angles. Doesn't look good from others. Either way, he does fit. Can't shake the feeling that the bike overall is a little too small for the figure. So that's too bad. That said, you can get him into some cool action poses. Um, and if you use the, uh, the included stand, it makes it a little easier. There we go. So he's kind of like jumping and shooting and, you know, if you take your time, you can get some really good stuff. If you look up shots of this, there's people, um, doing all kinds of cool poses and cool photography with this. I mean, it certainly holds up. Uh, I know I sound like I'm being kind of negative about it, but eh, this is my kind of my least favorite part of it is the, the interaction here. It's just, eh, it's a little off for my tastes. But let's get to the good stuff. I'm going to transform this uh, and combine it. I'm not going to show it on camera. It's very clunky, and there are far better videos. Um, Scorched Earth uh, has a transformation video that uh, is step-by-step, step, very well done, very well edited, a nice pro professional style video. Not, um, not like what I put out. But anyway, go check that out if you want to do a transformation and not break it. And the final results are good. This is a very cool looking, very small, but uh, still well detailed version of the ride armor. Um, does have the two swords and everything. Well, we went over the accessories, it doesn't matter. But um, point is, he looks good. And uh, the only problem I really have with him is standing. Uh, the figure does not... It's, it's very back heavy, as you can imagine, so it's difficult to get it to stand on its own. Fortunately, we will use the figure stand to get them to balance. And we're just gonna take a couple comparisons here. Here's another, uh, here's the other B25 offering here, also transformed into mecha mode just to give you a sense of size and of course for our transformers fans here is the very awesome exo suit so you can see they are just about in perfect scale with each other love that love that okay one last comparison probably need to move the camera but here is a invid shock trooper this is the vintage playmates there we go. Not perfect, but at least you can get a good sense of um, how they stack up next to each other. This is uh, just about perfect um, in terms of scale, which, you know, this is roughly 124 scale. This is 128 scale. I don't know. Uh, no need to be exact. The point is they look good together. And, uh, you know, obviously this is a vintage toy. So when I say look good together, I mean, to me, the size is good. I think these look good on the shelf, but um, you know your mileage may vary. I know some people are very particular about the overall aesthetic. This would be far too primitive. No worries, I totally get you, but there we go. Nice size comparison. Well, that's all I got. 
thanks for uh, taking a look at this very cool little toy with me. Uh, this is one of my favorite pickups. Uh, again, I, I know I sound like I'm being pretty harsh on it. Really, it's just I never want to sell anybody on anything. I'm very happy with this, but I think there's a lot of people who would find its faults too much. So as a review, I'd say, hey, be careful. Make sure that uh, you're comfortable spending the heavy price tag it takes to buy this. But overall, very cool. Uh, Lancer here uh, says goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Until next time.